Hello guys, it's Castaway Trader and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my website www.castawaytrader.com where I post my updates and where you can subscribe to my educational video course how to predict the market with the harmonic Elliott wave theory. Before we start that video, I would ask you to read that important disclaimer. Those of you who watched my previous videos know that I trade based on the harmonic Elliott wave theory. And the foundation of the harmonic Elliott wave theory is the 5 wave fractal. This is the structure of any impulsive rally or decline. Impulsive meaning in direction of the main trend. And here you can see that subdivision of that 5 wave up fractal meaning that we have 5 waves, 1 up, 2 down, 3 up, 4 down and 5 up and we can see that every wave A and every wave C in direction of the main trend as themselves are subdivided into 5 smaller waves. Now let's align that fractal with AS mini. So we have that fractal that has been unfolding since the law of 2009 and wave 3 is the strongest part of the rally topped in September 18 and then we got a quick but deep decline a pullback in wave 4 down which bottomed in December 2018 and since then if you watched my previous video I have been saying that we've been in a rally in wave parenthesis A of 5 meaning that as soon as it tops we should get a corrective wave parenthesis B down. Now let's talk about that wave A. As you can see that wave parenthesis A up is normally subdivided into 5 waves so it has an impulsive structure. We also know that that wave loves to top retesting the previous top made by wave 3 and this is exactly what happened this time. So we topped in May on May 1st 2019 at the very same level where the market topped in September 2018. And this is a microstructure. I mentioned that because we knew that Z wave A of 5 will be subdivided into 5 waves, we could micro counting those 5 waves of the law made in December 2018. ABC of 1, ABC of 2, A of 3, B of 3, C of 3, ABC of wave 4 and A up, B down and C up into the top of that large rally in wave A of 5. So in my personal opinion that rally topped on May 1st 2019. Now let's come back to the model and see what we should expect after that rally in wave A of 5 tops out. We should expect a wave parenthesis B down which itself is subdivided into A down, B up and C down. And now we will be talking in details about that structure, about the path price may choose to complete that correction. There are two basic scenarios for potential path for the price to go down to complete that pullback. The first one is called simple zigzag. By the way, I'm showing you slides from my video course how to predict the market with the harmonic Elliott wave theory, which is available on my website and you will find a link to that, web, to that video course in the description of the video. And at the end of the video, I will show you how you can subscribe to that. So let's come back to the structure, simple zigzag structure. It's a deep structure because that A, B, C, three waves of that correction where A and C have impulsive structures. So it's a trending structure. And under that structure, the corrective move down, which we see now it's only the start of the story. So this is where we are here. We got ABC down, ABC up, it was wave 1 down, 2 up and now we are working on the completion of wave A of 3. 
let me show you. So that was the top made on May 1st and we got 5 down it was A, we got ugly A, B, C up it was B up and we got 5 down it was C. Together A, B, C comprise wave 1 down then we got an ugly pullback in 2 up and from here we are working on the another 5 wave down structure. 1 down, 2 up, 3 down, A, B, C, O, 4 and here after hours we have a drop in A down then we, will, we may get B up and C down somewhere to 28.40 and that would be A of 3. Again coming back 1 down, 2 up and A of 3 is here. So after a pullback which could be very shallow, we should get the strongest part of decline, which could go well under 2800. And this is the bearish scenario and the simple zigzag structure. Now let's talk about less bearish scenario. Less bearish scenario is called regular flat. It's called flat because we have two main legs in the corrective move down, A and C, and as you can see, wave C does not travel too far beyond the low made by the first leg down in wave A. And we can also see that wave A is subdivided into three subwaves, A, B, C, then we get kind of a deep corrective wave B up and then we have an impulsive structure in the final wave C down, meaning that it has to be subdivided into five microwaves. And Again, this structure is a perfect candidate for that uh, corrective structure, a uh, regular flat. We got A, B, C that could be counted as A down and then we got a pretty deep but ugly structure of a corrective wave B up and from here we should get the final decline which has to be divide, subdivided into five waves, A, B, C of one, very shallow two extended wave 3 down and then A, B, C, O, 4, A down, we are here, we could get a pullback in B up and then the final push down which may target 28.40. And under that scenario, under flat, regular flat scenario, that push down would be the final push for that whole corrective wave parenthesis B down. Structure-wise, I like that scenario much more because it perfectly fits the criteria for that uh, structure. But if we come back to the whole rally that we had of the low in December 2018 up to the top made on May 1st, 2019, we get that we get the small decline here is not proportional to the whole structure. When we deal with a uh, wave B down, B of 5 down after a completed A of 5 up, we should get retracement ratios for the whole rally. You can see those ratios with percentage sign at the end uh, in red color. And you can see that normally the minimum required depth of that correction move is 23.6% of the whole rally and even that minimum target would be 28.11. Then the most common one for a flat pullback in B down would be 33.3 which is 27.50 and finally 41.40 or 44.10 around 2700. So my personal preference would be to see the price targeting this area 27.50, 27.26 and under the less bearish scenario, under the regular flat scenario, it doesn't look that price can drop that low, but under the more bearish scenario, under the simple zigzag, where the price has only started its decline, price can easily travel that low even lower. At this point it's very difficult to say what is the most preferable scenario. I told you that both scenarios look feasible at this point, but 
if we talk about those retracement FIPS, I would prefer more bearish scenario. At the end, I want to remind you that you can subscribe to regular updates on my website. You just click register and you pick one of those plans and there are bundles available, double bundle and triple bundle, where you can save a lot of money when you subscribe to several of those plans. And finally, you can subscribe to my video course, which is called Predict the Market with the Harmonic Elliott Wave. You can get access to over 100 videos with real life case studies, and you can always get support from me. In addition to that, you can read what my actual students said about the course and you check can check all the reviews left by my students. Thank you for your time and please like this video and let me know that you want me to record more videos like that. Thank you.